Hi everyone, it's Lindy on here from Pink Whisper Designs. Today I've got a brand new matchbook to show you from Art Impressions. This is in their series of matchbooks and this one is the cat matchbook. Let's take a look at that. So you can see all these cute little images. I went ahead and stamped these using my VersaFine Onyx Black ink and I've stamped them onto some Strathmore Bristol Smooth cardstock. And this set does come with the coordinating dies. So for coloring, let's start with the light green and the deep green. These are the Zig Clean Color Real Brush pens, and these are a water-based marker. And I'll be using the Zig Blender pen to do my blending. Now today, you'll notice the color combination is sort of something I don't normally do. But the current blog challenge on the Art Impressions site is called Going Green. So it's to use a variety of greens in any way you want to. You could do St. Patrick's Day or, or however you want to use the greens. So I thought it would be fun to challenge myself to create this matchbook using a variety of greens, kind of turquoise greens, olive greens, and I mixed them all together. And I really, to be honest with you, wasn't sure how this is going to come out. But in the end, I really loved it. I found some beautiful patterned paper with the greens and the turquoise greens in it. I'll be showing you that a bit later on. And you've probably noticed that all of the colors I'm using today are listed in the upper left-hand corner as we're going along. So again, I'm just changing out the green colors just for a variety and interest. And here's where I'll introduce that turquoise green. So I know a lot of you collect these matchbooks, and I have many of them myself, but the brand new ones in this collection are the chicken matchbook, which is so cute. It's got the little chicks. It's got a little hen house. It's just adorable. And then the other new one is the tool shed. So it's, it's actually a little tool shed with all different tools in it, saws and paint and drills and it's just like a, a little workbench so it's really cute great for masculine cards great for father's day coming up and then there's several others and i've done many videos on the matchbooks i have quite a few like i said and i've done quite a few videos and i will list and link those three brand new matchbooks down below for you as well as all the other products i'm using today and they'll also be listed and linked on my blog now I do like to include the instructions for assembling the matchbooks in each of the videos. So if you've seen that assembly before, you probably already know what to do, but I'd like to include it for those who haven't seen this before, just to give them an idea of how quick and easy this is to, to put together. And there is a coordinating envelope that's available for the matchbooks. And again, I'll be showing you all of that shortly when we get to the, the actual card base for the matchbook. Now I have included all the coloring for these little images and I know that some of you may just want to get to the creation of the matchbook itself. You can just go forward a little bit there and you'll find all of the instructions for that, some little tips and tricks for putting these together. And I just want to say that in order to create the matchbooks you do need the matchbook template die set and I will show you that. And you also, to create the coordinating envelope that fits this little matchbook, you would need the matchbook envelope set. And again, I'll show you that as well. Since there is quite a bit of coloring, I'm going to put some music here and I will meet you on the other side to show you that beautiful paper pack that we'll be using today and how to do the assembly.
So let's take a look at the finished coloring. And again, this green combination is really fun. And when you see the papers, we're going to coordinate with this. I think you're really going to love this. So let's go ahead and attach the coordinating dies with a little bit of post-it tape. And we'll run this through the die cutting machine. So this will cut out the die and also the, create the little scores and tabs we need to attach this to our matchbook. I'll set those aside and here is that beautiful 49 and market Spectrum Sherbert paper pad and this is called Tidal Wave. And isn't this gorgeous? It's a double sided paper. And if you're not familiar with the 49 and market paper, it's a really heavy weight cardstock. So it's beautiful for your scrapbooks or your cards. It would even make a great card base because it is quite thick. So that's why I thought it would be great to use in our little matchbook today. And again, it's got those pretty greens and turquoise greens that we're going for. So I'm just showing you all the beautiful papers in there, but I've selected these two. And again, we've got the double-sided paper, and now we've got the matchbook die set. So this is the die that you would need to create your matchbook. And I'm just pointing out there all the little pieces you get with this. You get uh, some windows, you get a little tab for your sentiment, you get a couple of different rugs. So it's got a nice collection of, of dies in that set. And here I'm just trying to decide which side I want to be the inside and which side is the outside. So let's go ahead and tape this down and the side that I tape the die on, it will be the outside of our matchbook. And then for the envelope, I'm going to do the same thing. So this will be the front of my envelope. And here's that envelope die set. And again, this is a separate die. And this die set includes another little mini envelope, a bow, and a little tag. So let's go ahead and again, we're going to place that envelope die right on this side this will be the outside of our envelope and i'm just i kind of moved it around a few times just to find the best pattern so i'm going to tape that down with some post-it tape and we'll run both of these through the die cutting machine so here we have both pieces die cut again that's the outside and you can see the score lines are right there so i'm going to go ahead and fold on those score lines i'll use my bone folder to press that out and then you've got a score, two scores here at the very top of your matchbook. And this little piece here folds over and you've got that pretty scalloped edge. And then we're going to fold the bottom up and there's a little slot there in the bottom to close the matchbook. So now let's go ahead and grab the little pieces that we've created. And again, you've got these score lines. So I'm going to fold the two sides back and press those out with the bone folder and then we're going to fold them back one more time and I'll show you that up close so you can see exactly what that looks like so there you can see that we folded that back and now for these there's just one fold so we're going to fold these back and just press those out with the bone folder and then there's that little one with the cat in it that stands up so that little tab is at the bottom I'll be using my Nubo Deluxe Adhesive. This is a really strong adhesive and it dries clear. And for the, this window that we've created, I'm going to place that up towards the top. And then I'll place this little cat plaque right next to it. Now again, that original template for the matchbook does include windows. So you could always cut some actual windows out of this if you prefer that. Now for the first tab, we're going to place some glue along that tab. I'm just spreading it out with my finger. We'll fold it back and then line it up with the left hand side of the matchbook and along the bottom. You don't want it to drop below the bottom of that paper there. And then for this side, we'll do the same thing. Put a little bit of glue on that tab, press it out with our finger just to make sure it's right up the edge. And then we're placing this one in the right hand corner. Again, making sure it doesn't go below the edge of that paper. So now we have the two sides. Let's go ahead and place this centerpiece in. 
So we're going to place some glue on those two tabs, but let's do one at a time. So I've placed some glue on the left hand tab. I'm going to fold that back just one time and then line it up with that corner right along that score line. And again, I don't want that couch to drop below the score line at the bottom. So I've got it along the left hand score line and the bottom score line. Now I can place some glue on the other tab and I'm going to push this completely flat. So push the whole thing flat, tuck that tab in behind it, and then press that into place. And I do like to use the bone folder just to make sure everything is securely attached. And then that'll push forward to create that three dimensional look inside our matchbook. Now I've got this little kitten inside this little bag. I'm going to go ahead and create a little rug for him to sit on. And that template die set does come with those two different rugs. So I grabbed some pretty pattern paper, again from that 49 and market paper pad. It's got these really pretty turquoise flowers on it. I just thought this looked so pretty. So I'm going to just put some glue on there. And you wanna make sure that you put the rug either in front of that notch or behind that notch, just because you don't want it to interfere with closing up your matchbook. So I decided to place it up front and then I can put this little kitten down front and I've placed a little bit of glue on that tab and I'm putting it on a little bit of an angle there. You wanna make sure it's forward enough so that when you fold up your matchbook, it doesn't get in the way. So do double check that before you glue it down. And then for the sentiment, I grabbed that sentiment and just cut it into a little rectangle. And this does come with the set, the sentiment. And I'm going to just place that right along that little scallopy topper. And I'm just going to center that. So now I've got the little matchbook all done. And isn't this just the cutest little thing? And again, going back to the green colors, I really love it. I think it's so fun. And again, it's outside of my normal color palette that I like to use. So it's kind of fun to challenge yourself. Now to fold this up, you just wanna fold in the two sides, then fold up the bottom, and then you've got that little notch to close that up. Let's go ahead and create the envelope. And this has two score lines on each side. And that will give it the dimension that it needs in order to accommodate our matchbook. So I went ahead and folded that bottom edge and let me show you what that's going to look like. So it's about an eighth of an inch and I'll do that all the way around. So there you can get a closer look at what that looks like. And I like to assemble the envelope with my matchbook inside because sometimes you add extra items in the matchbook or you use a thicker paper like I did today. I like to make sure that it's inside there and then I attach it with my glue or you can use double stick tape here, whatever is easiest, but you do want to use something fairly strong. So you could use that double stick tape if you do prefer that. So let's take a closer look at the matchbook. And again, that little sentiment is so cute. And we'll go ahead and open the flaps. And again, I'm looking at that beautiful pattern paper that we have. And then you just wanna lift open all those little items, pop that centerpiece forward, and look at how adorable this is. Perfectly possum. So to close this back up, we're going to fold in those two sides, push that centerpiece flat, fold up this flap at the bottom, and then just put that right into that little notch and it'll fit perfectly in the envelope. So I really hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please hit the like button and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you don't miss a single video. Thanks so much for joining me today. Have a great day. Bye-bye.